Welcome to this week's Quick Charge. The Apostle Peter said, above all, have fervent and unfailing love for one another because love covers a multitude of sins or it overlooks unkindness and unselfishly seeks the best for others. One rendition says love will be a canopy over a multitude of sins. We can conclude from this that love covers others, not itself. It doesn't conceal sin. It covers those whose sins and faults are obvious. The whole concept of covering is clearly a biblical concept. It's a God thing. Coverings are the pattern of heaven. The anointed cherub that was created to cover the glory of God and stand between and serve as a last layer between the creator and his creation was called Lucifer, the cherub who covers, to act as a screen, a hedge, a guardian, or a protector. And his role was to maintain the way to the presence of God, like the cherubim in Genesis 3 that were there to guard the way to the tree of life, ensuring that there would always be a way back for man to God. Lucifer's covering may have been praise and worship, drawing people to the Father. When he fell, that covering was gone to be replaced by worship of the redeemed. The articles of worship in the Old Testament, the Bible says are copies on the earth, the ark, the mercy seat, the furnishings, the vessels. They all had designated coverings, just like the originals in heaven. On earth, covering took on a greater meaning as it addressed the nakedness of man. So learning to love is learning to cover. To walk in love is to cover. But why does God call us to cover one another? There's a powerful message resident in the act of covering. And one of those things is covering is an act of honor. Whenever anything in the Bible is given a covering, the underlying message is what is being covered is special, it's unique, it's sacred, it's set apart, it's worthy, honorable, and deserving. God always assigns and places a covering on what is special. I'm covered in his righteousness. My spirit man has its own covering because it's a special meeting place. The tabernacle of Moses was a special meeting place. The temple was special. The furnishings of the temple were all special and they all had coverings. Special things get covered in the order of God. Matthew 25 and the parable of the sheep and the goats, we could fail to realize that everyone was measured based on how they treated other people. Whether they were the hungry and thirsty, those that are really needy, the stranger, that which is a bit odd and weird, maybe someone who's just out there, the sick and the offender, those who are unpleasant. They were not measured by how they treated the whole and the rich and the nice and the generous. The sheep honored them as if they were Jesus. The goats treated them as flawed, frustrating, and failing pain in the necks that they appeared to be. They didn't see Jesus in them. They didn't equate and associate them with Jesus. But in verse 44, they ask, when did we see you like that? The question we are to ask is, would I really say what I'm saying and do what I'm doing or think what I'm thinking or act the way I'm acting if I saw those failed, flawed people as Jesus or as if it was really Jesus behind all those flaws? When we cover people, we acknowledge that they're special even when they don't look, live, or act like Jesus. Join me next week for more of your covered. God bless.